on the webcam again today. We are gonna look at a different type of wish list. Yesterday I did my Christmas wish list for me personally, but I'm here to help you guys get ideas for all of your writer friends and bookish friends, you know, they, there's some overlap there. So I have put together a wish list on Amazon.com as well. Again, try to get these from other places, not Amazon themselves, but some are impossible to do. Just of things and ideas that you can get your more literarily inclined friends and family or, you know, treat yourself. Some of these you may recognize from my own personal wish list, but that is because I am in the category of people who want these things. Pretty much everything on this list is something that I probably want. Not everything though, because there are lots of different types of writers, lots of different types of people who like different things. So this is a an amalgamation of a lot of things that maybe will suit somebody you know, in case you're struggling to figure out, what do I get them for the holidays? Here you go. Without further ado, let's delve right in. Wee First up, we have an ergonomic office chair. Now, this is just the one that I personally wanted myself, but in general, writers need good chairs. We are in them a lot. We, we hunch a lot and stuff, so you need something that's going to be comfortable for them to sit in so that they can really put in the hours to get through their work and get through the words and things without being uncomfortable, because it's really hard to focus when you're un when you're uncomfortable and this chair that i'm currently sitting in not comfy don't recommend but i got it cheap next up we have a vintage wax sealing kit like every author and writer and reader would love to wax seal envelopes and send off their dramatic letters to all of their friends and family. Like I would, I would definitely start writing more letters if I could wax seal them. I know that for sure, but it's a, it's a cute little thing. It's something that they can also display if they don't want to use it, but it is definitely a little treat for someone. It's not necessarily the most practical thing to have, but that's what gift giving is about is you buy them something they wouldn't normally get for themselves. And there you go. Also a really handy one is some blue light glasses. The ones that I'm currently wearing are also blue light glasses. These are just an example on Amazon. Um, I got mine from the place called Vogue V O O G U E M E dot com. And they have a lot of cute fashion -y glasses. So I have these. I also got sunglasses from them. They do prescription as well. So if you figure out what their prescription is, you can get their stuff. Um, I'll put a link in the description for it, but blue light glasses are kind of essential for writers because we are staring at screens all the time and it's very damaging to our eyes. So ever since I started wearing blue light glasses, I have noticed a big improvement overall. I don't get, you know, headaches as much. I'm not like rubbing my eyes as much as I used to, and it doesn't cause me so many problems. The only problem I have is that if I take my glasses off, um, they make these little denty things, but that's because I have a giant nose and I don't like it. Don't talk about my nose. <laughs> Next up is an emotion thesaurus. There's actually a bunch of different books from this company or from these authors. There's um, some emotional wound thesauruses. There are some trait thesauruses as well, but I think the emotion thesaurus is one that any writer will appreciate because sometimes it's just very difficult to figure out the correct word that a character is experiencing. So a nice little thesaurus like this can be very, very helpful. We also have some cute bookends that are also desktop organizers. They have little compartments in them and it looks classy like every other one's a, like a vintagey looking old timey classic library, an office space and we want that. I mentioned this on yesterday's video about the bookbinding kit like this guy. I do think a lot of other authors and stuff would like to learn the skill of bookbinding. So if you have a very bookish friend or anybody, I think this would be a fun, very fun idea for a gift for them. It's also not that expensive. So that looks really, really cool. If you want a little stocking stuffer, I do recommend getting a little uh, hanger sign for their doorknob. So like, especially during like NaNoWriMo's and stuff like that, when they have deadlines or anything they need to get done, they can hang that outside their door and don't disturb them. 
because a writer is at work. I like it. I think it's cute. It's cute stocking stuffer. Also great little, little, uh, gift would be, you know, some nice wrist pads. This one has a bunch of different colors. This is just the color I would personally prefer, um, wrist pads for, for everything. Cause we are always typity typity and hurdy hurdy. Like you guys hear that? That's my wrist. That's I just constant, constant cracking. And I don't have a wrist pad and I think I, I need one. This is a really cool invention, especially if you have writer friends who mostly hand write. So this is a rocket book, which is a smart notebook. It's reusable and you use the special pen and stuff and you write down your ideas and it transfers it to the cloud for you. And then you can erase everything on it with a push of a button. And I think that's really, really cool. I don't really hand write at all. Um, so this gift wouldn't personally work so much for me. But for those who do a lot of handwriting or jotting down on ideas, this I think is a really good gift and surprisingly inexpensive. It's only like $20 here on Amazon, but like, dang. Also for those handwriting people are LED pens, especially if they like to write in the night. These little guys light up. Again, good stocking stuffer. The next two go hand in hand. So you can get a custom hand embosser so they can emboss things on these little stickers so you do have to buy the sticker separately um but when you click on this guy they make you they have a bunch of different designs or you can do a custom design with them and you can emboss things yourself and i just think that's really really cool especially if you know somebody who's already like a self-published author and you want to put a fun sticker or something on the book so that they can sell them and be like oh look i got this reward or something or some things like that i think that would be a fun, very fun gift for somebody to have. This is actually something I already own and it is a foot hammock. So it just hooks on the side of your, your desk and you can put your feet up like me right now. And it's very comfy and very nice and pretty sturdy. I was surprised at how sturdy it is, but foot hammock, very nice. On top of that, we have some different support options. So there is some back support. You can do a foot rest in case you don't get the foot hammock and a seat cushion. So if the, even if you can't get them a whole new chair, you can help improve their chair by getting them these things, especially that back support and that cushion. Those are very, very important. Now, if you're a rich person and you really want to spoil your writer friends, us writer people, we love clickety clackety keyboards. This is the clickety clackety keyboard. And I do need a new one because it's failing me right now, but there are lots of different places you can get kind of the very mechanical keyboards and like mine, I think it's from the PNK shop, but there are a bunch of different businesses that sell these. This is just an example of one. It, this one looks like a little typewriter too, which I think is very, very cute. But for all of those writer friends who love the clickety clackety of the typewriter, you can now be a great friend and get them one. If you have money, next up, we have a, little lamp book that folds up and then you unfold it and it's a beautiful rechargeable lamp um, with LED lights and stuff. It's just very whimsical and stuff. You know, a nice, a nice cute gift that people don't buy for themselves. It's something other people get them. We've got fingerless writing gloves, which I already own. My, the example on, on there is the Raven. They have a bunch of different ones. And my sister actually bought these for me. These are Anna Green Gables ones um, that uh, she got for me for Christmas a couple of years ago. And I love them. They keep your hands warm, but you can still typey typey. They're also a little bit, I mean, for me, they're tight because I'm a fat girl, but they're <laughs> really nice. So if you do have like really big arms or anything, they're a little tight. But if you don't, then these are great for, for everybody, but they're very nice. They're very comfortable. They don't make you overheat or anything. And they just give you that extra flair, you know, that writing flair that we all need, but they're very cute. Cause they're, um, they've got the script of some of our favorite works on them. And yeah, so Anna Green Gables, my favorite of all time. And my sister knows that and got me these gloves. Next up is a character development journal. So, um, again, more writing tools for writers. We do like those, those things and having a little log of all the characters that we're creating with a little guide, be a great gift for a writer. Again, only $7.99. Well done. There's also the writer emergency pack, which is a little set of cards and ideas for when we get a little bit stuck on anything. 
And we have aqua notes, which are waterproof notepads that you can hang in your shower because we all know we all get our best ideas in the shower. And so, but when you're in the shower, you don't have anything to write on. So these are a great solution to that with their waterproof notes and the special pen that goes with it. And then you tear it off and you take it over and not forget the idea as soon as you get out of the shower. Authors and book people really love to be comfy and cozy. So a heated throw blanket would be very nice. You know, along with that, some nice candles, literary candles. So this current one is a Jane Austen one. There's ones that like smell like old books and things. And those are all all the cozy things that writers and readers read. Really then we have a little collection of some desktop design stuff. So we have some wooden holders with little compartments in them, a Kleenex box, more, more holders. There's one that's a typewriter. All of these are really good, really cute things that you can get your writer friends. And I think any, and any bookish person will appreciate it because aesthetically so pleasing, so, so pleasing. You can also get them a little retro speaker. This could go for a lot of different people, not just writers and, and authors, but a little Bluetooth speaker. They can play their favorite little writing playlist, but it's all antique looking and cute. So yeah, of course. Messenger bags. Writers love messenger bags because they got to carry their laptops around everywhere so they can write anywhere they want. So a really nice high quality briefcase satchel or anything. I particularly like this style that look kind of old and vintage and very... Makes, makes you feel a little bit Indiana Jonesy, you know, but that would be a great, a great thing for them. Also travel mugs. This one's a little bookish, bookish travel mug. We all love that. Everybody loves our hot liquids. And finally, it's another for when we have them showers, some aromatherapy shower bombs. So shower steamers are great. Not everybody has an access to a nice tub. I definitely don't have a great tub and I don't like taking baths. I prefer showers and I love shower bombs. So I think authors and writers would also prefer shower bombs. But that is what I have compiled for everybody on what are some great ideas for all of your literary friends. I will also post this in the description and you can get some nice gifts for your friends or you can suggest some gifts for yourself to other people be like, hey, hint, hint, hint nudge, nudge. I want these things. Get me the things. <laughs> Hope this video helped all you out in your holiday gift shopping endeavors. If you have any other further suggestions of great gifts, put them down in the comments below or on Facebook, Tumblr, and Twitter, and I will see you next time, cuties. Bye. Up, we've got fingerless writing gloves, which I own. Where did I put mine? Hold on.